In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your first multi-device Delphi application with XZ4. We'll say File New, FireMonkey Mobile Application, and we'll start with a blank application. We'll put down a button, change its property to Click Me, and we'll double click on it to bring up the event handler, and we'll say Hello from Multi-Device Delphi. We'll also add a T calendar edit component and we'll add a label so we can display the result of the calendar selection. So the event handler for the calendar edit is on change. So if you change the calendar, we'll say label one this text property is going to get format date time. We'll put the month name, the day and the four character year and we'll pass it the date property from the calendar edit. And we'll run the application on the simulator. There's the show message. Hello from Multi-Device Delphi. Go to the calendar edit. Notice now it uses the nice smooth scrolling date picker. And we get our display of our year, month, and day. And here's the application running on my iPad 4. I'll click on the button, bring up the message box. Click on the calendar and see the smooth scrolling uh, date picker and the result ending up in the label. I can take this same project and form and create a Windows version and a Macintosh version. We'll say add to project group FireMonkey desktop application on HD FireMonkey app and we'll remove the new unit and form that was created and we'll add to this project that same form unit 5.pass. Activate this project for Win32, compile and run, and here's my show message, and here's my calendar edit. Same thing by changing the target platform to Win64, run the application on 64-bit windows, still works the same, calendar edit, and then finally add OS 10 as a platform. It already has my remote profile, so now I activate that, hit run, it compiles for Macintosh, and here's the same application bringing up a show message box, bringing up a calendar edit, and we're done. So there's the same source code running on Win32, Win64, OS 10 on the iOS simulator, and on the iOS device, all in XE4.